What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. I'm Usual UK. I hope you are doing okay. Today we're going to be reviewing Jesus Navas centre back card. I'm very, very excited to have a look at him. For that, just to talk about a giveaway that we're doing for Christmas. We're doing 12 vids of Christmas. So we did the first video for that yesterday. 12 vids between now and Christmas Day. I've got to get a move on. Well, there'll be some information in the description below about how you can enter that and what's going on. And it's all explained in that first video if it's not clear. Uh, we're giving away two t-shirts, a hoodie and 2200 figure points. And on the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two Ter Stegen gloves. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is put what is in the second day of Christmas down below. And the first 10 to comment within the first 24 hours will have a raffle ticket for the giveaway on Christmas Day. You can also win another raffle ticket when you find the Christmas image within this video hidden somewhere. All you have to do is the same. Put that in the comments below. Within 24 hours, the first 10 people, you can earn yourself another raffle ticket. Good luck, guys. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So we're going to submit this team. As I said, we're doing uh, Jesus Navas. Uh, this cost me around about 150k to do, maybe just under, probably like 135k. The second part of this, this one, 106k currently. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this. And this card is not really a card I particularly wanted to do. I really, I have Kunde, as do so many people. So we knew a Sevilla card was going to come out and it was going to be brilliant for me to do had they been CDM, centre mid, cam, striker, whatever. But anyhow, it is centre back. He does link um, in that position. A big issue, as we'll get into the card's actual stats, a big issue, though, that we have to look at is how much are those work rates going to affect him in game? I don't, uh, as of yet, quite know how bad it is going to affect. But his face stats look quite good. Um, enough pace, 83 pace, and I think a lot of that is his acceleration. Um, sprint speed not owing to that as much. I think it's 86 acceleration and 80 sprint speed. Let's have a look at the card then. There, yeah, as I say, 86 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. Um, really good to know is his passing stats for a defender. Of course, it's really, really good as he's a, a midfielder. So you'd expect a position change card that is uh, from a midfielder to have good passing stats in a different position for sure. The same goes with the dribbling, of course. 81 dribbling, 84 balance. This is a centre-back card, so we want to be focusing on those defending stats. So uh, interceptions, 88, phenomenal. I'll be interested to see how good he is uh, actually winning the ball back um, in certain situations. We'll be going through that in these games we're about to play in Div 1. So getting some good opponents there. Uh, defensive awareness, 86. Stand tackle, 83. Slide tackle, 85. Heading actually, don't really need to look at that. I think they're, they're good enough defensive stats, to be honest with you, to warrant him as a defender. Like I said, it is the work rates I'm worried about. Physical, his strength is something that does give me a worry. And of course, we, we can't forget to mention his height. Five foot eight for a centre-back is very small. Quite small would probably be an understatement. I think that's very small. And I'm going to be playing him alongside Kunde. So this probably gives you a good idea whether um, whether it's possible on this game to play with two short centre backs at all. Um, I think Kunde's five foot ten, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, let's get into some games and see how he does. Four star skill moves, two star weak foot could also be a bit of a problem, but uh, let's find out uh, with some Div One gameplay. So here's my team. This is what I'm going to be using alongside Navas to see you know how effective he is. I thought maybe go for the four one two one two. I didn't want to use two DMs because I wanted to see if he gets exposed. As we spoke, as I spoke briefly about there, the high medium um, work rates, high attacking work rates is the issue. I don't mind medium. There's some very good defenders on the game that have medium, medium, but it's the high attacking work rates that uh, really are going to worry me. So I'm thinking use one DM uh, in formation to see whether he does get exposed, whether he does push up, push out of position, act as kind of a, a second CDM if you like. If he gets caught out of position, we want to find that out. We want to find out whether this card is good so that you guys know whether you want to do this SPC, of course. For chemistry style, now, a lot of people, they go ahead and slap shadows on every single defender. And I don't necessarily mind that. But for this card and uh, cards like Mendy and Kunde, I am going to use uh, an anchor. Uh, I've done it also with Semedo just because of the physical. And the strength is something that I am kind of worried about. I think it is important on here. So I'm going to just pop that strength up, of course, obviously with pace and defending as well. That's what Anchor does. All those three attributes. 
So we're going to pop a anchor on and then have a look again at his in-game stats. Strength now up to 88, um, 87, sorry. He's jumping up to 94, acceleration 91 and 85 sprint speed. That is more than enough. And um, yeah, gets his slide tackle up to 95, stand tackle 93. So let's go and uh, go into Div Rivals. As you can see, just above my webcam, my face cam, uh, 1,958 skill rating. I'm just in Div 1 um, by you know two or three matches. So we're playing the bottom end of Division 1 opponents. Pretty good test. Um, I feel like that is important when uh, playing with these players. Also, probably foot champs would be good, but coming out on a Thursday, I'm going to get this out for you as soon as possible. And uh, we'll see how he fares here in this match. All right, then, let's take on our first opponent. This is the team we're going to be coming up against. And it looks like a very, very uh, basic team in Div 1. I don't know if you caught a glimpse of that. Yo, what an interception that is. I've literally, I've just started using him, of course, and I'm tempted to try him out at CDM. I've tried to apply the pressure and uh, see <laughs> what my opponent can do with him. I've conceded an early goal, but um, I keep sending him on a run there. That's not his work rate, but I am tempted. He moves about so fast and very, very agile. I'm tempted to try him out. Oh, here he is. What can he do? Yeah, attempted to try him out as CDM, see how good he is there. He looks like a very good CDM. He looks a bit like a Kante, the way he moves uh, around the pitch. Just spin around with him for a little bit, see how he covers the ground. Amazing. Ama as I say, CDM potential. I'm definitely going to try him out there. Uh, I, I guess we'll do like three games. I'll try two games with him at centre-back. That is his position. And see if he's a better CDM. Brilliant tackle. Great stand tackle. So far, first impressions... I'm very impressed. He's 150k. I really did have my doubts when I did the SBC thinking this is just going to be a complete total waste. I still have those doubts because of the work rates. But look, he's, he's just staying in position there, chilling around. He's very active, very agile. Really good at passing. We'll see. It's early days, but so far, so good. How's your long pass then? Off the left foot. That's probably my bad. Passing very good off his right foot, as it should be. Very nice. Very, very nice. Come on, Navas. Show us what you can do. Okay, okay. Not a real clean tackle. Not really going through him. That is to be expected. Not, not nearly just because of his strength. He does have a massive, massive strength boost. Something like plus 37. Um, but maybe just because of his stature... As a five foot eight, uh, slender, slender build, slim build. Uh, it just doesn't really have that. I've already noticed. And same, same again there. Look, it doesn't really go through the player. That might be something to do with his aggression, which is uh, can be a good thing in the box. He's not going to give away too many penalties, I don't think, if you are playing with him as a centre back. And that's him just with a the header there. Nice. As you can see, I'm moving around with him very, very quickly. Although he does have a two-star weak foot, he seems very keen to get on the strong foot. He plays some very odd passes off it. Let's see if I can uh, see what he can do up the pitch. Probably asked a bit much of him there. Oh my god, lovely. He's got back into position already. We've sent him on the 1-2, we've sent him on the L1. And uh, running out of stam. It's dribbling very nice. Even with low stamina. Has your through ball. Not very good. I would like to see him try and making passes in and around the midfield to see you know, if he can be versatile. He has the stats that mean he could be a CDM. He could be a box-to-box -box centre mid almost. Uh, obviously, high high would be uh, perfect for that. But he does have high mediums. As you can see, already in position though. He's right back here, look. And even though he does have those high attacking work rates, his, his positioning doesn't seem that bad. Well, I said he probably won't give away penalties. That is completely my fault. Um, but finally, he's made a dominant tackle and it's one in the penalty spot on the 91st minute in Div Rivals. I really need these Div Rival points, to be honest with you. Uh, not really good trying to 
force it too much, but we make the save. Big up to Stegen. All right then, into our second game. Now this guy's got uh, the likes of Sun up front. He's got Red Zaha. I want to I want to test out this this Navas card. I'm gonna have to probably give this guy uh, the ball unless I just knock it around. Actually, I don't believe I sent him on a run there. I actually don't believe I did, and he's just gone on for one. There I did. Let's have a look. What's he got up front? Okay. He gets back so quickly though, in position. Waiting for him to turn on me. And again, and again. Lovely. Brilliant stand tackle. And even though his sort of presence on the field isn't as big as most defenders, as I was saying earlier, his sort of box, if you like, has affected him in that first game. There, it didn't seem to matter. So let's hope um, it's not that much of a deal. Okay, bit of defending for you to do. Interception, very, very easy. And a very nice pass. Close it down. Brilliant, stood him up nicely. And that's really a benefit of his agility. You're able to jockey so well. It's similar to Kante. I use that uh, team of the week, Kante. And he, he does feel very similar in the way he can, uh, he can jockey and move around the pitch. Which is very, very important when running around with your CDMs in this game and not uh, controlling your defenders. Something which I need to do more of in weekend league. His dribbling does seem a little bit stiff. I'm not sure if that's coming across uh, to you guys, whether you've seen enough from the clips, but it does seem a lot more stiff than I imagine this card. Nice pass. And we take it to 5-1. It's getting a bit silly for this. Hopefully this guy's going to come back and attack and not just completely give up. He's quit, actually. Unfortunate. We'll get into another match. I'm going to play him at CDM now because, really, I think I've seen enough with him at centre-back. If you do want to use him at centre-back, I don't think it's terrible. Uh, similar to maybe Kante's special card that he got last year. He got a centre-back card, I believe. Um, I think that was... Was it Shapeshifters? So I do I do make big comparisons to that Kante card and to Kante currently in this year. That's why I want to see whether he's good at CDM. So we're going to go ahead and pop him in there. Or we'll leave him at centre-back so he's on full chem and then we'll change uh, our in-game formation and uh, get into another game. We're going to slot him in there at CDM. Desai goes to centre-back. And before 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, just to show my tactics, they're just balanced, balanced. Uh, five width, six depth in the defensive. And uh, that's all really we need to note here. So let's get into this game and see how he fares at CDM. I have a feeling he's going to be good. And if so, for 137k, I believe it's saying on Footbin right now, um, if he is half as good as Kante and you want to run on the Liga side, definitely, definitely could be a good shout here. So I'm hoping he does the job at CDM. Let's find out if he's our man. Our next opponent, this is his squad. It's a, good, it's a good team. I don't know why it's got Rodrigo in there. It's a really good team apart from Rodrigo. But hey, um, we'll see what he can do against us. And uh, yeah, let's get on to it. That, that is the, the instance that I had earlier with this small hitbox, you know? It's been inconsistent there. And uh, it was Cristiano Ronaldo we played in the game that um, this was happening in. That's something that's come back and something to worry about, to be honest. So currently, I don't have him on stay back uh, while attacking. I want to just see what he's like without that on. See whether he does push forward naturally because of those high attacking work rates. Or whether he's okay. I mean, if we don't need to have him as stay back while attacking, then we can rule out that those, uh, those work rates are really affecting him. So, let's see. Okay. He's in a very nice position there. That's exactly where I want him. I managed to pick up the ball. What have you got? What have you got? What have you got? Let's see how good his penalties are then. <laughs> We've got Bruno Penendez, but we're going to try out Navas. We're going to go left. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that one. Lovely, lovely. Half an interception. But it, ooh, 
He's given Desai a, a really good chance to make that tackle, which could have been a foul. Right, nice position. Left foot. All right, two-star weak foot. Left foot through ball. How's your, how's your ball? Oh, it's fantastic. It is fantastic. Little pass, short pass. Good, solid. Can't complain. Very nice through ball. Come short for the ball. Thank you. Enough pace to get off the mark. That's his acceleration. Brilliant. He's in the right position. Every time. Ball was very bad there. That was just a simple uh, ball. But that was off his weak foot. There again. That's another great example of a problem with his just, just small frame. The ball's just gone completely through him. And that is apparently a foul. I've tackled directly on the man. That does that does concern me greatly about this card. If he's just missing tackles like that. Well, we're getting well beaten in this game. But we've got six more minutes to try and see what we can do with this card. Look at that. The ball came back to him. He just dropped into the right position. He, he didn't care about going forward. I have no problem with his work rates at all. No problem with his work rates. A bit out of stam now. It does make that cover in tackle. Somehow it goes that far off him when uh, a minute ago he just the ball just teleported through him. Well, that's going to be the end of the gameplay. Well beaten there, 3-0. We were trying to see how he was doing, and that is always the problem with these reviews. You're trying to use that player all too much. You can't necessarily uh, win the game, but that doesn't matter. I am very concerned. I have a very big concern. I like the card overall. I really do. I feel like it's brilliant. Like he, He's a bit of an all-rounder. I think he's better at CDM. I noticed it when he was uh, playing at centre-back. Very, very fast. Very good at jockeying. Very, very good at applying pressure. But having said that, the big, big worry is the whole tackling situation. He doesn't make any commanding tackles like your Varane, your Gomez. They will go through the man, you know, uh, and not necessarily foul them either. It will just make sure that you win the ball back and you have a little bit of space. They've got that strength to hold them off. They've got that build. He doesn't have that, uh, sadly. And that, I think, could be massive, a massive, massive problem at centre-back. Even comparing him to Kunde, Kunde does have a little bit of a presence about him. But I don't feel like Navas does. CDM, I definitely think this is a good card. 437k. That guy had 2,200 skill rating. So uh, we didn't do bad to, uh, to lose 3-0 while uh, trying to review that card there. So currently on PlayStation, 135k. I said 137 earlier. Um, 143 on Xbox, 154 uh, 950 on PC. I really don't think that's a bad price at all. I came into this thinking, I don't really want to do this player review. Uh, this guy's rubbish for my team. I'm a trader. I want these coins to trade with, if I'm honest with you. Um, so if somebody else had done it, I would have just gone, you know what, I'm not going to do this card. I think it's a waste of money. Having done him and played with him, even having that mentality, thinking, nah, it's going to be rubbish. I'm surprised that I actually coming away with this thinking he's probably fairly priced. And if not, um, he's good. As he's from La Liga, I think this is brilliant to pop him in at CDM. You do have the likes of Lorente, Valverde, as we're looking at the list. He may not be as well priced as, say, Hector Herrera. But obviously, if you haven't done that SBC, uh, he's already expired. Um, it would be interesting to compare him alongside Hector Herrera and actually see for those people that have done the SBC. Or maybe you can put it in the comments below if you have uh, done both. Or you have done Hector Herrera and how you think uh, he fares compared to the gameplay you've just seen. But uh, I think he fits into this category right here. Um, and I think he's a great alternative. He's also arguably or unarguably got a lot better links. As he's Spanish, um, you know, he can link to the other players in La Liga very, very easily. Unlike this Hector Herrera. Uh, so if you want to play, you know, want to mix your team up with uh, lots of different players, the Spanish players from other leagues, then uh, he obviously has that going about him. So 135k. Do I think that is worth it for this SBC? If you want to go La Liga, if you need someone that can run CDM, yes, absolutely. I believe this SBC is worth it. Team of the year is around the corner. Lots of SBCs are still coming. I'm not sure uh, on that basis whether really you want to be chucking loads of coins in at this time of the year, but that is not going to uh, lead me to be biased as a decision. I think this is a relatively well-priced SBC. Even though I came into it having my doubts, uh, it gets a probably a 6 out of 10 for me. And a 5 out of 10 means probably impartial whether I'm going to do the SFC or not. If it's a 6, just about just about doable. Um, and especially if you've got a La Liga team or a La Liga setup, it's probably a nice card to have in there. 
You can uh, have fun with him. He's got four-star skills. His weak foot does let him down slightly. And, of course, his stand tackle is the biggest issue. The work rate never, never worried me at all. Even when I was trying to send him on runs, he got back into position very, very quickly. He didn't actually make any runs himself, trying to get off the ball and ask for the ball. So, weirdly enough, high attacking work rates, but not pushing forward in open play, which is great, which is what you want to see from a centre-back or a CDM. So, um, in my opinion, best off at CDM. Is it worth it? Yes, only just. If you're using a Liga team, yes, do him. But do bear in mind, we've got a lot of SBCs to come and team of the year just around the corner. Guys, I hope this has helped you decide whether you want to do this SBC or not. Um, please, if it has, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you wish to, leave any comments down below. If you have any feedback regarding the player review, what you'd want to see me do in the future, um, whether are pros and cons or whatever it may be, uh, feel free to pop it in below. And if you've done this card, if you have some different opinions, feel free to post that. Absolutely fine. Remember, guys, what was on the second day of Christmas and the hidden Christmas image? Make sure to put that down below and be within the first 10 people to comment within the next 24 hours. So you have a chance of winning one of those prizes I said at the start of the video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you next time. Peace.